big moment. New running shoes just arrived. Thank you, UPS. Thank you, Blake, for my knife. Uh-huh. Uh, let's open this box up here. Dun -da -da -da. So, I'm a Hoka guy, right? Hoka. So, ASICs in high school, Nike in college, Hoka post-college, but now for trail running, where the trail is not very good, Hokas are fine because they're lightweight and a lot of cushion, but what about the grip? What about the sticking to the rocks? That's what I'm concerned about, especially for Pikes Peak. So, here we go. Thank you. Solomon. Solomon, I've, um, now listen. In college, we used to get a lot of new shoes, so I think, Dave, you were a little concerned about, like, new shoes so close to a race, and I get it. However, my feet in college were very, very accustomed to receiving new shoes often because CU, the University of Colorado, was sponsored by Nike, so we got a lot of good free shoes all the time. Those days are over as far as free, so I'm not afraid to use new shoes so close to a race. I'm really not. In fact, I think it's going to be a little bit of an advantage because the Pikes Peak Trail that I'm going to be running up on Saturday is very beat up and a lot of people walk on it and so it's loose footing, loose kind of gravelly at times and a lot of rocks to jump over. So here we go. I'm not afraid to use these. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Solomon, baby. Black. I'm not like necessarily drawn to black, but it's all they had in my size. Here we are. Yes, sir. The S Lab Speed Cross. Seven and a half. Size seven and a half. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's a different lacing system. And um, yeah, we're going to give them a go here, people. Boom. Ugh. Yes, sir. Boom. 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 Now, this is definitely a stiffer sole than the Hoka, but look at those lugs, baby. Look at those lugs. You just arr, arr, climb up the mountain. Mich motor up, as I like to say. Motor up. All right. Let's give it a test. Fit like a glove. Let's go. And we're back. Initial impressions, really good. I love them. I love them. The upper, this is the upper up here, up here on the upper, really amazing. The seams on the upper, you cannot feel them at all. No feeling of the seams. So you know when you put shoes on, sometimes you can feel stuff rubbing on your foot on the upper. None of that in these shoes. Um, I would never pay full price for these shoes because I couldn't afford it. $180. Never buy shoes full price. Look online look for sales uh so these shoes are not cheap if you're looking for a good trail shoe though i would say consider this but don't buy it full price there's no reason i got this one for much less much less than 180 dollars. so almost half i'll just put it that way Sita, Grandma Sita, is back in Chicago. Kate the Great, back in New York. Uh, Pop is in charge. Pop is in charge, right, boys? Yeah. Breakfast for dinner. Mm hmm. Yeah, ma'am. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. Good. Good? Yeah, you too, but um, did you know this lid is, is quite a cool lid because, because it has this? But uh, you can't stop the water the way away because you have to put your tongue and block it because because it, c it comes out so fast. It's like it's like coming to a fa it's coming like it's it's like coming to a faucet of a seek. Wow. It comes so fast. I'll show you. Ooh. 
Whoa, cool. Brother. All right, guys, time for books. What are you doing, Buster? I want this. Happy Meal Hats. Okay, two books. I don't know about you all out there in the YouTube universe, but um, I'm trying to, I don't know if break the habit is the right phrase, but alleviate the habit of desiring a little post-dinner sugar. You know, a little something to cleanse the palate. Does that make sense? You know, you have your water all day, your coffee, you've got your good dinner. Um, but then it's kind of nice to have a little sweet thing, a little something sweet. I like that. And that's the question of the day. What do you enjoy after dinner? Maybe it's a, a dessert wine. Maybe it's a dessert coffee. Yeah. Maybe it's a Hansen's ginger ale. Huh? I love ginger ale. Love it. So, what is your post-dinner necessity for... Oh, left the fridge open too long. For uh, cleansing that old palate for the evening. Hmm? Capiche. Capiche.